Hey collective, it's time to tap, tap, tap in again for today's second <laughs> psychic collective knowing. Um, as soon as I got off of the last video, Spirit said, so they weren't done, okay? Spirit said, no bail. They also are showing me that somebody might walk into um, a place that should be safe for them. Uh, there's some issue with me using that word safe because maybe this is supposed to feel like a safe space for you, but it doesn't. When someone walks into this space or this, I feel like it's someone's home, okay? There might be somebody sitting there that catches you off guard, that surprises you. I feel like this person is someone who may have physically harmed you as a child. This is somebody who has definitely violated you. Yeah. Yeah. This person might send you back. Um, you might actually repel into your body. You might go or revert back to an age you were when you experienced them um, in this negative way. This person might also act as though there is nothing between you all. They could um, initiate contact, like try to give you a hug. And if you push back, everybody in this room might try to make you feel... Um, I heard less than or feel guilty for doing that. Um, and you might even betray yourself in the moment and give this person a hug as to save face or as to keep the, oh, wow. To keep these people at bay, you all listen to me. This person is there to literally this person was invited into this space to make you feel a particular way somebody invited this person there knowing that you would be there so that you could i feel like revert back to something somebody is trying to break another person down mentally emotionally and spiritually i heard i want you back okay so this is back to the way you used to be or something like that. So that's the first thing. Your, I heard your childhood abuser. This could be a bully. This could be somebody who physically harmed you. Is going to be in a place that, and you may have not seen this person for years. It could be something like 20, 30 years. It could be a long time since you've seen this person and they're going to be sitting there when you walk in. The intent is to break you, Okay. You may also have a situation where you're in a very soft or sentimental moment um, and you are trying to express or share love with someone. That person might completely, completely like disrespect you, disregard that. Like they don't care about you or your feelings or your love. They don't want it. They mean it. Okay. This person does mean it. Now, it is also attempt an attempt here for you to, um, I heard break down. They want to see you cry. Somebody is trying to break another person down to the smallest denominator they can, and they cannot seem to do it. Okay. I heard fly by night. Okay. Okay. Somebody also might try to pin a crime on you. Somebody might try to pin a crime on you. Might say that you are the person responsible for something happening here. There is no proof of this. I heard, but they are going to do it. Also, somebody might be doing something on documentation changing documents this could i feel like this is like i'm writing with a physical pen so this might be some sort of contract okay somebody else might be signing another person's name on a contract to prove that it was them or something like that or somebody might be signing an affidavit spirit said they are going to pin this crime on you There could be something with this crime associated to two years. 
They said you are going to go to jail. But the truth will be found out. Okay. I heard you will be released to no avail. I don't really understand what that means, but you will be released to no avail. I heard early release. This will be scratched from your record. But this might ruin some things from, for somebody. Right side of the body goosebumps, bottom of the body goosebumps. There is going to be forward progress with this, okay? These people might feel like they've gotten away with something by putting you away or by accusing you of this crime. But I see that one of these people is going to end up hung in some sort of way or choked out or something like that. I feel like there's something being wrapped around their neck and they are being like um, pulled or dragged or but they like they can't breathe. So if they're not physically hung, there could be some sort of silencing of them that happens. But I feel like this is to their um, demise. Okay, whatever this is. There is another energy here. Um, I see it as a dark black figure. So definitely dark energy, but I can't make out who this other energy is here. It seems like it's masculine, dark energy. They are are associated with this choked out person or they're responsible for choking out this person. I don't know. But this dark energy here, this second person here is well hidden in like the big scheme of things. Like this might be the energy force or motivation behind someone doing something for you, but they, I don't feel like are being found out or being seen or they are being hidden. Spirit said hidden and very well but they will be found out as well. Spirit, why does this person have to do time in jail? I heard to lessen the cost. I don't know what that means. Then I heard to lessen the cost to be the boss. When this person gets out of jail, what will happen? Hmm. I hear they will, they will soar. They will fly. Uninterrupted success. This person who is going to jail, the colors black and blue um, are associated here. A lot of blue, lots of blue. When they get out of jail, they might go into finance or credit or something dealing with like, it could be the stock market or it could be, it's something dealing with like finance, credit, money, okay? Banking. I heard, yes, I also feel like this is probably what they should have been doing anyway. This this was their purpose. This was their life purpose anyway, or something like that. This person might even perfect some sort of knowledge that they have. Um, left side of the body, goosebumps, but bottom of the body. So something from the past is coming up for them. So this is something that maybe they should have done before and going into this um I heard correctional facility is going to help realign their focus. Also, this might cause somebody to go through an ego death. I'm like, if they if they are not guilty, why is... This person needs a recalibration of focus. Mm, my stomach just growled real good and loud. <laughs> okay. Recalibration of focus. Yeah. And an ego death. So, so maybe... Whoever this is that's going to jail, I heard the farm. Whoever this is that's going somewhere, they are they are not guilty of this. Whatever they're being accused of, they're not guilty of. 
but this time down is going to change their lives and put them back on course where they should be. Something about the age of eight or something about the number eight is significant here. I feel like the age of eight, this person could be facing eight years, but maybe only do two. Now I'm seeing the number eight everywhere. I see that I see eight on the side of a train. The number eight is significant here, okay? Okay, ladies, this is for you in particular, and then we're done, okay? Ladies, because Spirit was like, I was like, Spirit, can I close out? And they were like, mm, one more thing. <laughs> so a scenario just popped into me. Ladies, you might meet somebody um, who is coming towards you. This person is married. Um, this person is married, but they might not say that to you in the beginning. It's going to be important that you ask. Also, it's also going to be important. You're going to meet this person over the next three to five days. It could be three to seven days for some of you, but any masculine energy um, who could be married to a feminine energy that's coming your way, this person is going to be married. If they tell you, no, I'm not married, do your research before you believe them because this person is attached to somebody who is certifiably crazy, okay? Certifiably viably crazy. So I feel like they might be separated, okay? But this this man is still married. They might be separated um, or I don't even think this is a legal separation. I think that they just got into it and he moved out, okay? She don't calculate it like that. She don't see it like that, okay? She see it like that's still her husband and he just mad, okay? This... I'm going to stay away from this person until they are legally unmarried, okay? Because this woman is going to bring hellfire down on somebody. She is absolutely going to fuck your life up, okay? As best as she possibly can. And this lady don't have nothing to lose because without this man, she doesn't have financial support. He completely takes care of her. She does not have a job. He owns the house that they're in. If he walks away from her, this lady, this lady would be dirt poor. You coming into his reality and catching his attention is going to get you mopped the fuck up. Okay. So do not let somebody thinking you sexy or cute or they want to be with you. Do not let that get your ass handed to you. Okay. Because this person, and if he lies and you're like, well, I asked if he was married and he told me he wasn't girl, the internet exists. Private investigators exist. You can pay $17.95 and get somebody's records online. Do not say you did not know somebody was married that you've met because it's not gonna hold up okay when you get in this ass whooping it is not gonna hold up his word don't what he says to you doesn't even register to this wife it doesn't matter what he said to you the wife is coming for you okay and she's coming for you because you being in his reality fucks up her livelihood completely so stay away from this crazy man attached to this one. And you have to ask yourself, what kind of energy it was this man in to be with this person? And now they want you. So what kind of energy are you in that a person who be attracted to this kind of woman now is attracted to you? Uh-uh. You better check your energy, check, do background checks. And if, if this man tells you we are not together, we're going through a divorce with baby, when that motherfucker is finalized and you have the paperwork, come see me. Until then, y'all better back you up, okay? I mentioned something about a marriage in a previous collective, didn't I? I love y'all. It's a gift and a blessing to dive into the unknown for you. I look forward to doing it again soon. Toodles, poodles.